All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another quick little episode of the Project S10. Today we are going to be installing the flywheel and the clutch for sure, among other things, of course. I talked about this in the last episode, but I took the flywheel to be resurfaced at a local machine shop, and I got a call from them about an hour or two after I dropped it off, and they told me that it was bent. Not too much, but it was definitely warped. So of course I went online right away and started looking around for a flywheel, and they weren't that expensive, so I decided to just go for it and buy a whole new flywheel for the truck. So I've been kind of waiting for that to come in the mail before I could go on and make any more progress. It finally just came in the mail this morning, so here's the new flywheel. Pretty cool stuff. It's very heavy and it really hurts my hands to hold it. But anyways, that's the first thing that needs to get done today, so without further ado, let's get to work installing the flywheel. So I moved the engine a little further out here so it's a little easier to access. I had it all the way over here because I've had my car in here this week working on it. If you haven't seen that video, link up in the corner. But yeah, I'm going to get the new flywheel on right now really quick. going to get it in there and then i got to figure out a way to like hold it in place while I get it all torqued down. But we'll cross that bridge once we get to it. Something I just noticed here though is uh, the distributor which I just installed in the last video. The O-ring looks like it, um, yeah. You can see. I think I might have to unbolt that really quick and just just pull it up enough that I can get the O-ring resituated. But oh, I'm glad I saw that. I got all the bolts in with, I actually just used the drill to just get them in there for now. Now I gotta actually torque them. I gotta double check the torque specs. Um, I wanna say it was either 50 something foot pounds or 70 something foot pounds. But something I gotta think about also is how to hold the flywheel in place from spinning when I try to torque them. It suggested to me when I ordered this flywheel online that I get the flywheel holding tool. As usual, I didn't feel like spending the extra 20 bucks. So might try to use a screwdriver or something, something I really shouldn't do, but we'll get it. And the screwdriver trick actually worked really well. I just found a screwdriver that fit in one of the notches pretty good and good enough. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is replace the throwout bearing, which is right there. Here's the new throwout bearing. I guess like, okay. So this, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. This just popped off of here, which I gotta pop it back on. There, I got that pop back on. That, I, that shouldn't have to completely pop off like I did to be able to get the throwout bearing it on and off. But if it does by accident like it just did me, you should be able to pop it back in there really easy. But first we gotta push this back out. Now, as you can see on this really dirty, greasy diagram that came with the clutch kit, <laughs> there's a correct and incorrect way to the throwout bearing on here because there's this little, sort of like a clip that's built into this on the back here. And you're supposed to install, as you can see, that's the wrong way. It, those are supposed to go under the lip on the throwout bearing instead of over like that. And you can't see it, and it's impossible for me to get the camera back in there so you can see it, but you can feel it with your fingers. Just make sure that those fit on there correctly. Looks like basically what this alignment tool is for is to just kind of do this. Basically just holding it in place while you get the rest of it bolted up, except it doesn't really want to hold it in place very well, but... I like using a drill, just a basic average drill with a little socket bit in it for tightening things down like this just to get the bolts in there because it's not going to over torque them at all. Now 
All right, well, I got the pressure plate and everything for the clutch bolted down, and it looks like it's aligned and everything and positioned correctly. So I guess we're good to go as far as, I think we're good to go. I also finished installing the uh, throw out bearing. But anyways, looks like that's all set. Looks like this is all set. So basically all I'm going to do now is really quickly fix this uh, little O-ring seal on the bottom of the distributor. So I just gotta loosen that really quick and fix it, torque that bolt back down. And then we can actually put the uh, transmission and the motor back together and get them all bolted up. And then I think that's probably after that's done, what's gonna end this episode. And then we can begin sinking it back into the truck, which is really exciting. Once it's back in there, it's all downhill for the most part. Somehow I might try using the jack or something and get the tranny over here and get it all bolted up. All right guys, engine and tranny are now bolted back together, minus one bolt. Um, I remember somewhere around one of these bolts, um, there was a ground attached to, so I had to take it out ahead of time and I probably set it aside and now I gotta look for it. It's probably in one of the random bags that's in the truck, but other than that, everything's bolted back together, so probably very soon, better sooner than later, we'll be um, tying up some of the odds and ends and actually sinking the motor and the tranny back into the truck. I'm really excited to be able to do that. Watch for that video coming hopefully very soon. Anyways guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this quick little channel CG video. Be sure and give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below if you have any questions about anything that happened in the video here or just anything you want to say. As always, we have a good time down in the comments. And as always, be sure and go subscribe to see yourself whenever it comes out and watch for new uploads every Sunday. I'm sorry the uploads haven't been too regular or I don't know if I only came out with two or one this week or something. Hopefully, we'll make some very cool videos in the future that I've been working on right now. So, be patient with me. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. You rock. God bless. And I will see you in the next one.